Okay, well, thank you everyone for joining us for this exciting day as we welcome head coach Stacy Mae Johnson to the Bulldog family. We will start off the press conference with athletic director Terry Toomey, followed by an opening statement from coach. Then we will open the mic to the floor. So please hold your questions until the end. And athletic director Terry Toomey. All right, thank you. All right, all right. You know what, first and foremost, it is just wonderful to see people in a room together. This is phenomenal right now. That is a little bit of success for all of us uh, in our community. Uh, before I begin, I think it's very important that I acknowledge uh, some folks who I'm, I'm very proud to represent and honor here at Fresno State. Um, we have our alumni here. I see alumni in the back that I truly appreciate, always appreciate the student, student athlete experience. And our alumni here, valuably important. Of course, Coach Pickles here with us. Coach, so appreciate you being here and honoring us. And of course, very good friend, Diane Militinovic. Diane, thank you so much for being here. Uh, always an honor and a pleasure to serve you and serve our community. And I also see some of our benefactors here in the back and, and love those guys. I love all the folks back there in the back. I see everyone here, so very important. And um, so with that being said, let's talk about what we're doing here today. And, and you know what? I have one student athlete here. Haley, good to see you here. All right, so absolutely. Yeah, it's kind of nice when you have the picture of the year for the Mountain West Conference here with you for, for, your, for your opening day. So this is great. Um, let's talk a little bit about why we're here. Why we're here is, is to talk about the greatness of Fresno State and the greatness of our softball program. Uh, you know, our softball program is historic and we all know it. Uh, it has been uh, what I think is the pinnacle for this university and the pinnacle for the Mountain West Conference uh, for many, many years. And I think it's very important that when we think about the greatness and what the expectation of this program is, we should always keep it at that level and at that standard. And it has been truly an honor to serve the student athletes who are there serving in that way and the coaches that are serving in that way. But today is about the future. Anytime we do these press conferences, they're not about the past as much as where we're going and how we continue that level of excellence. And I, I feel very confident that we found the right person to help us continue that level of excellence here at Fresno State. Stacy Mae Johnson is an amazing coach, but more importantly, an amazing individual. Everywhere she's been, she's been a winner. And I don't think that's happenstance. I think that happens because of a couple of different things. I think it happens because of the person that we're talking about, the integrity of their person, how they're built, and the discipline that they run their programs. And believe it or not, because of that, wins are a product of, of that, not the reason for that. They're a product of all those great founda foundational pieces that come into play for her program and what she's doing for these folks to be not only successful on the field of play, but also in the game of life. Which is, much, which is what we're really all about here at Fresno State as we think about the student athlete experience. So with that, you don't wanna sit up here and listen to an athletic director, no one does, all right? You wanna hear from the coach. So I give you our coach, Stacy Mae Johnson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, well, wow, this is exciting. This is an exciting day. So uh, first thing I want to do, I want to start off by thanking some people. Um, first of all, um, the people that hired me, the people who put me in this seat here today, uh, President Jimenez Sandoval, Terry Toomey, David Hall, uh, thank you to all of you and to the leadership for giving me this opportunity. I am very excited. Uh, Haley Dulcini, thank you for being here. Yeah, I think you got some people excited about that. Um, our alumni, thank you, thank you for coming. This is awesome. And, and last but not least, our supporters. I know that this is a special place for a lot of reasons, the history, but the support from this community is very different. It's very different. It's much better here than it is in many other places. You make this place special. Thank you for being here. Um, so now that we've uh, got our thank yous going, um, I'm just excited about the future of this program. Um, Terry Toomey hit on it. It's not just about wins and the losses. Yes, it will be about the wins and the losses. We will win. Okay, but it is about developing our young women. They will walk out these doors, graduates, 
prepared for the world in front of them, and I can tell you, you will see a team play harder than you've ever seen anybody play before. I can tell you they're going to run hard out to their positions. They're going to run hard to first base. We are going to do things the right way. And we believe that doing things the right way creates a product on the field that's successful. That's been the way that I've done things my life, and I'm excited to bring that here. This place is amazing. When you go back and look at the history, obviously the World Series, uh, the, the Margie Wright, you go back, it's amazing, the things that have happened here. And for me, I don't think I'm coming in here and changing everything. I'm not doing that. I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I get to uh, build upon what's already been built, and I'm super excited about it. Um, and and I, I can tell you this, that our student athletes, they will honor the program be behind them but they will also blaze their own trail. I think it's gonna be something that this community can be excited about, something that um, our supporters and our staff and everybody that's involved with this can be excited about. Um, so that's what I had for you all, and uh, I'd like to open it up for any questions you might have. Steven? Um, oh. anyway, I, I Go ahead. Class. Yep. <laughs> um, I've read where your background and education has been in uh, physics. How did you do that and wind up softball coach? Um, <laughs> That's a great question. I don't know that I have a great answer, but that I've always pursued my passions. And oddly enough, uh, physics was one of my passions, and I pursued it. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Coach, Stephen Hicks from ABC 30. You talked about the, uh, the history of this program. What sort of potential do you see, uh, I guess, in this room and, and around this program going forward? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's, that's exactly what I see when I look at this program. I see potential. I, I see the potential to, uh, obviously, first, to win the Mountain West, second, to make it to that regional, third, to make it through that regional. Okay? And once you start doing that, you can make it to the World Series. I see that potential in this program. I would not be standing here today if I didn't believe that. Um, I'm excited about everything about, the, the, you go back, again, the history. Okay? So, so that, that creates a brand, right, that people get excited about the facilities, the support, the staff. Everything is in place to have success here. Uh, and, and again, that was, that was really the, the big draw for me to come here. Hi, Coach. Uh, Scott Bemis with KC24 and CBS 47. Um, obviously, there's been you know, a lot of news around this program recently. Um, what kind of challenges does that present for you, you know, coming into a situation like that? And is that difficult at all? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, I don't know if it provides challenge. I think what we do is we come in and, uh, and we take care of our student athletes, first of all. We create those relationships. We work hard to be close to them. All right, we, we, we know what's going on with them academically. If they have issues um, going on personally, we, we want to walk with them through that. And we obviously want to help them to be the best athletes they can be, create the best team we can. Um, and so our focus is going forward. Uh, we're just excited about what's in front of us. We've got some phenomenal young athletes in our program, and we're very excited about it. Um, I, I think that we can do very, very well going forward from here. I know you've been a lot of places in the world of softball, but I, you know, you're from, from Nevada, so obviously you're familiar with West Coast softball. I mean, did you ever think that you'd be in a position, you know, to coach a program like this, uh, you know, looking at it from a distance? Uh, th this is a dream, you know. Uh, like you said, I grew up in Reno, so I know Fresno State softball. You can't grow up in Reno without knowing Fresno State softball. I knew about it from a very young age, and it was exciting. And I, you know, to have this opportunity, I say, would you ever think you'd be here? I don't know. I just know that it was a dream, and here I am standing here today, um, and I, I have, you know, it's been a lot of years of hard work and effort that have gone into this that lead up to that. A uh, little bit of luck, a couple things going your way, um, but I couldn't be more thrilled to be here. How's that, guys? Alice Lamford of ESPN. You're losing your four or five bats in this lineup, um, and you do have a couple of really good freshmen now, sophomores. How do you approach that as a coach coming in no, you're losing some pretty good senior leadership, but you have some good talent back in. 
Absolutely. I, I think I think every coach is afraid to lose their top seniors. And, and why are they the top seniors? Because they've been in the program for four years. They've been getting better, right? They've been working hard at their game, at their craft for four years. And so you never like losing your seniors. But that's a reality you face every single year. Okay, so the first thing I can tell you is that this is a different landscape. You know, we can bring in transfers in a way that you couldn't bring them in 15 years ago. There's a landscape for this. We, we, can, we can plug those holes. The other thing we'll be looking for, and probably first in priority, is that we'll be looking for the, the, the young women that we have in our program to be getting better, to be stepping up. That's part of it, too, is we have to fill those holes internally, not just externally. We've got to be developing our young women, getting them better, and, and, and filling those gaps as we go. Any additional questions? Do you see this, um, Coach Johnson, as a job where you could be here for, you know, maybe as long as Margie Wright was here? I mean, is, is this the kind of job where you could see yourself, you know, here for a couple decades? It absolutely has that potential. There's a reason why Margie Wright was here for so long. Okay, this is, this is an incredibly appealing program. I will tell you this, I think that this is a better job than some of the jobs in the Pac-12, okay? And when you can say that about a job, it it's clearly has that potential. So I, I'm excited to pursue this and see if we can't get this to the highest level possible. And just one more question for me. You know, you mentioned how you think you can have great success here. Um, and we saw, you know, in the College World Series, kind of one of the non-traditional programs, you know, come really close. Can you win a national championship again at Fresno State? I would like to think we can. I would like to think we can. I will tell you this, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a lot of hard work. It's going to take time, but I believe that this program has that potential. Any more questions? We, we all know Haley Dolce and what she can do in the circle and, and how powerful she was this last past season. How big is it in this upcoming season to have a, a really good number two? You had Dariana Orm, who was really good at times, struggled at times. You had Danielle Long, who was good at times, struggled at times. How do you, as a coach, make sure to establish that number two? Because you talked about winning a World Series, and you need a really good number two in order to get past that, that regional. Yes, I, I think you hit it right on the head. Um, and I, I'm going to add to that. I think it takes more than a number two. I really do. I think it takes a staff. We've got, uh, we're expecting Cassidy West to step up and throw some more innings this year. Okay, and we've got good people internally. It is going to take more than just two. It takes more than one. It's going to take more than two. Okay, because there's matchups out there. There's, there's, there's bad days. Sometimes you just go out there, you don't throw your best that day. We will need everybody to step up. This pitching staff will be a staff. They will learn to, to work together, to pitch together. Um, we, will, we will add depth um, in the bullpen as quickly as we can, and, and we will look to those pitchers to work together as a staff to complement each other um, again. And part of that is, is, yes, we need to protect Haley. We need her as effective as possible in May and in June. That's what we need, okay? And that doesn't happen if we're throwing the heck out of her in February. So, you know, that's something we're going to have to take a look at. Additional questions? Terry, do you mind if I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, just kind of an overview, and you know, and obviously the, the Fresno State softball program, like you mentioned, is kind of built on the alumni and the greats of the past, and it seems a little fractured, you know, right now. Maybe with some of the recent grads, right? How do you, as a as an AD, like kind of what's your message to those who maybe, you know? I don't know, see maybe, their thought is maybe that some people weren't being held accountable. And How do you kind of bring this program maybe back together in that sense? I don't know. I, I kind of think of it this way. I think before COVID or as COVID hit, we were a top 25 program, finished number 24 in the nation. Uh, we came through that season to this season. We just won a Mountain West championship. We had, we were on the precipice of beating the number two team in the nation at UCLA. I don't see a fracture. What I see is a great program that's getting better. And what I see are, is I'm surrounding these young students with people who would invest in them. If I've got a supportive administration, I've got coaches who are gonna invest in student athletes, and I got talented student athletes, I got a championship experience and I'll take it all day long. So that's where I see where we are. It's pretty simple stuff. Any final questions?
why Coach Johnson, May Johnson? Why why did it end up there? I, I looked at the resume, and there's no doubt you, there's respect all over that resume. But how how did you get to Coach Johnson? I'm a heck of a recruiter. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I I think it was a couple of things. I think it was uh, an alignment uh, with how she's built and what, and what her, her experience has been. Uh, there's a, there is something that we look for in terms of the excellence that we want for our student athletes and hopefully that can gleam on them from her leadership and her tutelage. And, and quite honestly, it's, it's foundationally, it's, it's what she brings to the table. I mean, she's, she surrounded herself with great people. And it, it shows. They're just, they're just uh, you won't find a place that, that you call about for Coach Johnson where they just don't glow over her. So once I, once I got through all of that, it was like, I'm in recruiting mode. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I can, I can bring these student athletes who I love here at Fresno State, bring them the leadership that they need in order to have the, the success that they desire and that we expect here in our community. And I'm, I'm very proud that she's here. I'm, I'm so happy she's here. I'm, ha I'm happy she brought her family with her, her today. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. She got an assistant coach here. I've got coaches in the back here already supporting her. You know, so, so for me, our community is strong. Uh, I feel very confident with our community, and I'm just happy to have her be a part of it. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. All right. Thank you. Oh, and, and as always, go dogs.